Some information was just posted online and I think this is the last piece of the puzzle we needed to put together the specs for the RTX 3090 Ti and RTX 4090. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by RGB Swap, a better alternative to eBay that I really think you should take a look at. RGB Swap is a marketplace exclusively for selling and buying computer parts that offers much lower fees than competitors such as eBay as well as greater protection against scams. Whether you're a buyer or a seller, you're guaranteed to be protected since all orders have to be paid for first and the funds are held for 48 hours after the buyer receives the item or they leave feedback, ensuring that you never get sold a bad item. Additionally, all disputes are manually reviewed and PayPal is used exclusively for an extra layer of security. I gotta tell you guys, I like this website a lot and I really want it to take off as a better alternative to eBay, so please, if you're interested in buying or selling PC parts online, click the link in the description below and give it a shot. I think you'll really like it. So for a long time, there's been a bunch of different various leaks and rumors regarding the upcoming RTX 3090 Ti and next generation RTX 4090 that have been posted online by the likes of people like the Twitter user Cop87Kimi as well as Graymon55 who have been responsible for a lot of leaks making their way online as well as videocards.com and so of course I will have all my sources linked in the description below and as we get closer to 2022 it looks like even more information has made its way online. Now this time a bunch of information about Samsung's next generation memory was just posted online and of course again I will have it linked in the description below if you want to go ahead and read more about it but in any case just to sum it up we now know that apparently they are working on GD GDDR6 Plus and GDDR7, and these next generation memory technologies will almost certainly be making their way into cards like the RTX 3090 Ti and the RTX 4090. So now that we have more information on these next generation memory technologies, I'm going to go ahead and take this new information and mix it together with a bunch of various different leaks and rumors that we've heard about the 3090 Ti and the 4090 to give you guys what I believe the final specs for these cards are likely going to be. So let's go ahead and start off with the RTX 3090. 90 Ti because this should at least in theory according to leaks and rumors be coming out fairly soon uh, apparently we're talking probably about you know quarter one of 2022 and that is coming up pretty fast so yeah let's go ahead and start off with that hopefully this does end up being true and so if it is it looks like the RTX 3090 Ti based on leaks should have the full GA102 die which is 10,752 CUDA cores which is a little bit more than the RTX 3090 it'll have the same 24 gigabytes of memory except for this time I actually do believe instead of being GD GDDR6X, a uh, slightly higher clocked. I do believe we're probably going to be talking about the GDDR6 Plus, which should be able to get up to 24 gigabits per second, meaning that instead of this thing hitting like 1,008 gigabytes per second with some slightly overclocked G6X, with G6 Plus, we're talking about 1,152 gigabytes per second, which is just an enormous amount of memory bandwidth. Now, in terms of the TDP, uh, the leaks are suggesting that this could be as high as 450 watts, which leads me to believe that not not only is the memory itself going to be drawing a lot of power, but I think the GPU core is actually also going to be basically pre-overclocked. So this thing should be hitting slightly higher clock speeds than you see out of the RTX 3080 Ti and 3090. And if you're wondering, if you were to compare this to the RTX 3080 Ti today, let's say you had one, and you're asking, you know, how much of an improvement is the RTX 3090 Ti going to be over the 3080 Ti? Well, it's going to have double the memory, 26% more memory bandwidth if they do go with G6+, 5% more cores and likely probably somewhere around 15% higher boost clock which means that you know in theory you could have a GPU that could be up to 20% faster than the RTX 3080 Ti which is really really impressive but honestly guys I wouldn't expect on average for it to be any more than like 10% faster because things don't scale perfectly and on top of that the RTX 3080 Ti does boost a lot higher than its advertised boost clock most of the time. But now let's go ahead and move on to the RTX 4090 because here's where I think things get a lot lot more interesting because I do believe that this actually could end up using GDDR7 because we do have to keep in mind that the RTX 4090 probably won't be launching until Q3 of 2022 so that is going to give them a long time to likely get that GDDR7 ready and this is where things get really exciting because GDDR7 is actually going to be capable of bringing memory speeds up to 32 gigabits per second so 
if we take a look at the, you know, all the leaks that we've heard, it, it looks like the RTX 4090, if this turns out to be true, is going to have 18,432 CUDA cores, which is a massive increase over the RTX 3090. I think it's uh, probably around 70%, uh, which is, yeah, that's just huge. And then it's going to have probably the same 24 gigabytes of memory, except for this time, it's going to be G7, like I mentioned earlier, meaning it's going to get up to 32 gigabits per second. And I think this kind of solves the whole bandwidth issue that we were, you know, getting a little worried about with the RTX 4090, because previously we all thought it was just going to be some slightly overclocked G6X, but, in, you know, that was getting me worried that it wouldn't be enough memory bandwidth, but with G7 getting up to 32 gigabits per second, this means that if it's on a 384-bit bus, we're actually looking at 1,536 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth, which is, you know, going to be over 50% higher than what you're seeing on the RTX 3090 today. So if they do also increase the amount of cache available to this GPU, which I think is very, very likely that you're going to see that, then I think they're going to have no problem getting enough memory bandwidth to this GPU. And yes, that would allow it to likely be nearly twice as fast in gaming as the RTX 3090. Potentially more, it depends on how well things actually end up scaling. I know that Red Gaming Tech is claiming that people are telling him that apparently the RTX 4090 could be up to 2.3 times faster than the RTX 3090, which is just absolutely mind-blowing. And, you know, if they do use GDDR7, I think that that is a possibility that at least in raw compute workloads, you might actually see some numbers that will reflect that. Now, if you're wondering, because the 3090 Ti was drawing a lot of power, the RTX 4090 is also likely going to be drawing a lot of power as well. In fact, even more power if the leaks and rumors do end up turning out to be true. I know that Red Gaming Tech recently was saying that he thought of, apparently people were telling him it might be 500 watts plus, which is just absolutely insane. So if you're someone who's sitting there and you're getting really excited for the RTX 4090, because it's starting to sound more and more likely that yes, this, you know, this graphics card could end up being nearly twice as fast as the RTX 3090, which is just incredible. Well, if you're excited for it, you're also going to have to start getting excited for new power supplies because yeah, that, you know, even 850 watt power supply might not cut it with certain models of the RTX 4090 if that card alone is going to be drawing on average over 500 watts when fully loaded. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think the specs for the RTX 3090 Ti and RTX 4090 are actually going to be? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.